Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to this uh, new episode of CX Punk Chat. Uh, I remember to you, uh, you know, the format of this uh, video blog is uh, first of all punk. So we are here and uh, uh, we don't pretend to know but uh, we, we let our guest uh, talk uh, and uh, we have a very good confrontation uh, uh, with our guests. And uh, definitely is uh, one to one. So it means uh, one guest, two questions for uh, one specific topic. The guest today is Ricardo Salz Gulco uh, and is uh, basically um, co-founder of uh, e Globalis and uh, uh, also a uh, very important co-founder of the European Customer Experience uh, Association. W welcome, Ricardo. Organization. Organization, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I forgive, that's no problem. <laughs> no. ECXO, so it's a quite complex acronym, but uh, uh, the, the O stays for organization. Sorry for exactly. that. Exactly, <laughs> ECXO. Yeah. yeah, so um, Ricardo, um, Tell us about uh, uh, you know your engagement with customer experience. Why you you become passionate in customer experience on that level that you even create this uh, this new organization uh, in Europe? Uh, so, so start with eGlobalis. So eGlobalis is a company which is uh, designing experiences for B two B. We are a boutique, very small company. We work with Samsung. We work with. SAP with Tyson Crop to help them to create better experiences. But this you can read in our webpage, so it's not here. <laughs> the important part, how I started in, in customer experience. Um, in 2005, I arrived in the US and I was, you know, in the US, the system, the health insurance is very different than Germany, Israel, and everywhere here in Europe, yes. So you need a card. <laughs> I did not have a card, so I was concerned. I'm diabetic type one, and I was very concerned about uh, how I'm going to get my suppliers. And suppliers means the, the following: you have a pump. A pump is something that connects with your body and inject you insulin. Okay, and I depend of those plastics to to, to be the the canola, yes, to connect with my body and the pump between both. I was nervous about that in the US. Two, I was two weeks there. My suppliers were finalizing and I have to find a supplier. So instead of calling a company that calls Medtronic, which is the biggest uh, customer um, medical device company in the world, I call it a headquarters because I was so good in customer experience that they didn't know that you have to call the customer center, unfortunately. So I call it the headquarters and five minutes after I call, they pass me and don't ask me why, because I don't have an explanation to the secretary of one of the vice presidents. And I told her, look, I arrived from Germany and uh, I really need my suppliers. Can you help me? I can pay you and no problem. She said, sure, let me know all the details about you. So during the next 20 minutes, I explained to her my problems that I needed this and that and that. And <laughs> And she, in the end of the call, she asked me, do you need any other thing that I can help you with? I said, not in tone of asking for help, but of frustration, out of my frustration. Uh, yeah, you know, it's very difficult to find a, a doctor here. Nobody wants to accept you because they have such lines for diabetics here. And also because they don't have a card. No problem, we'll help with that. In the next 24 to 48 hours or wrap in your region, I was living close to Philadelphia in that time, mm -hmm. we'll call you. 24 hours or, or less, maybe in, in the next morning, she called me. And I was, wow, very early in the morning. Instead of me repeating, and remember, this is 2005, so social media was just coming up. Instead of me repeating the history, she knew everything that I said to the other woman, meaning she listened to me. And this woman also pay attention. She said, first of all, sir, I would like to send your suppliers. And those suppliers are not that cheap. It's $200 mm -hmm. per month, okay, in the US. Here in Germany, is, in Europe, is much more cheaper. And I said, oh, sure, let me give you my credit card. No, no, no credit cards. We, I understand you need that. It's your life, yes. So we send it for free. When you get your card, this will be paid in your next. I said, wow. 
By the way, she told me, I will find the three doctors and return to you in the next, in the next days. Mm. I was impressed, but you know, kind of skeptical as well. Yeah. In the next day, I got suppliers with a delivery, fast delivery, because I, I really, my suppliers were uh, in the end. And the next day in the morning, she called me, sir, I have three doctors for you. Let me give you the names. And then I, I told her, can you send me by mail? I, I don't like to use mails. I remember she saying that. <laughs> And, and, and then, um, you know, was in the beginning of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she gave me three names. And that was great. I was super happy. And then she told me the following thing, based in my name. And not, don't take me wrong. I don't care about religion. As far as a good doctor, that's cool. But she paid attention in one detail. And this is 2005. She said, by the way, this doctor is Jewish. And then I was, wow, hyper-personalization. That's amazing. 2005, without yeah. data-driven, without analytics. And I was just stunned. I said, I have to bring this, this kind of services to B2B. I, I, obviously, I didn't know how. Yeah. And then what happens, I, in the next weekend, I went to, uh, to Burns and Nobles. That is a, yeah. you know, yeah. a, a shop that I love. I, sure. I, I yeah. can spend hours there with my Starbucks. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I was reading, find, trying to find books of, about customer experience. And it turns out that I found one book that was from an uh, American actor, uh, 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 author, Shep Hiking. Mm. And I said, wow, is this that I need to do it? And it was a such simple book, but showed all the principles of a great customer experience. It was about a taxi driver. That is a great history. And, and then I started. So when I worked in Oracle, in Ericsson, in other companies leading uh, professional service, I always focused first in the customer, listening on all the principles. And, I, and I, as a part of that, I started to learn design and other things that would help me to become a good executive, a good professional in customer experience. And then the things, uh, you know, evolved yeah, yeah, very much. Uh, That's roll. plus minus the history, how I got involved with customer okay. experience. <laughs> and I, until today, just to, to, to let you know, until today, I, lo I love Medtronic. It's very difficult for me to leave them because they were such great. And to until today, they are great customer experience. When you are a client, you get all the attention. And I, yeah. and I, I, I was saying to an article that I just wrote recently about them that's really cool. Yeah, publish, if you publish this article in LinkedIn, just let us know because uh, so people uh, that follow this uh, video blog can, can have a uh, search for you in LinkedIn and search search for your article as well. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, and uh, I understand your passion. I come from a different uh, uh, path back in 2005, uh, but also that part was in quite interesting because I, I, I come from the B2C, uh, you know. I come um, from the B2C. Yeah, B2C. So you did all the, the opposite. The opposite, the opposite, but also the opposite in terms of experience because in our case, you know, we were really, a company providing uh, the worst experience in Switzerland. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we, we were always in the line of fire, you know, always uh, every day, every week on the newspapers, every week in this uh, special uh, um, TV show where, uh, you know, consumer can go to, to tell about bad history. So I had really to work uh, to change the culture and improve, uh, improve the experience of our clients. But was a very interesting, challenging, and then uh, was so interesting that after after uh, six years, I decided to start uh, my, my own company. Um, but did about... you succeed to change the bad experience for something good? Yes, we were, We well, we can open a big chapter here, you know, because uh, uh, <laughs> you know, in my opinion, uh, the first things you have to do is, uh, uh, you know, deliver what you promise so walk your talk this yeah, is this is the what you promise you no no to. one wants a wow experience and also wow experience is extremely extremely um costly for for, for a company but if you set uh, you know the expectation in the proper way and you respect your customer and you meet that expectations then in my opinion you are already delivering a, a, a very good customer experience but this is a this is another story ricardo we're talking we, are both, another opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> we are both passionate about customer experience but now i want you to talk a little bit about this uh, you European Customer Experience Organization, not association, organization. <laughs> and, and, and tell me, 
tell me a little bit the history and, and the reasons that uh, you are a co-founder, of course, you, you, you have other founders, but uh, uh, the reasons that push you to um, basically uh, establish and, and, and start this, uh, this organization. Two years and a half ago, I started to I started to inquire about the uh, difference of culture in Europe because we have many us yes? and every different country is in a different stage of customer experience. For example, Italy that you you are familiar with a bit. No, <laughs> uh, no, no. I, I they mean, are in my the. Parents, my parents were from Italy, and I was born in Ticino in Switzerland. Oh, but but my parents uh, originally came from Italy. But Italy, for example, they are in the baby steps, Greece and other countries. As you have, uh, England is very advanced. You have Holland very advanced. And you have Germany very, like running very slow in customer experience as Schweiz and uh, Switzerland. As Austria, a bit more dynamic because they have uh, a lot of internal influences. But... Uh, France is like Germany, right? We cannot generalize something, but Europe is behind the wheel in terms of uh, the, the, the movement of customer experience. And everybody complains a lot because people are not prepared even in the call centers to give you a decent cost, uh, customer experience. That is the basic. Sometimes it happens and may, actually many times it happens, but sometimes you have experiences that make you think, wow, which kind of culture this company have? What, uh, what I saw in the market before these two years and a half was solutions and proposals and, and associations and organizations focusing. I have this solution for you. This is the best solution in the world. You take that and you'll be happy forever and your customers will come for you. 10 pillars, 15 pillars, 10 different frameworks. I don't believe on that. I believe that the customer experiences are evolving art that we have to evolve together with it. And every day and every single year, you are going to have something added to that. For example, for in the case of Germany and I think the entire Europe, if it was not COVID, unfortunately, we would not have aggregated, uh, added a digital transformation for customer experience. Actually, this changed, you know, everything because everybody needs now to be digital, correct? Yeah. But Europe runs in a different rhythm than the other parts of the world. And we all know that. Yeah. So it's a good thing and a bad thing as well, yes? So I thought to create something that will solve or at least offer different solutions for the European markets, which will be a community of many people that have different minds and think in different ways, trying to build something together. To do that, to achieve that, I spoke with maybe 200, 300 people, right? And everybody has something to say. This is maybe, this is, this is maybe the solution. Maybe no a framework. Silvana Bujan, that is one of the co-founders, uh, member co-founder, she's my senior advisor. She said, instead of putting another framework out there, let's put something else that's put the kind of elements of customer experience and based in those elements to create our special program of education, which we are going to aim to be the best in the world because we are not going to do something mass market, but quality oriented, not to teach you to think how I think or how, the, or how any of my books think, but things you as a leader, how you think about certain things, because obviously, Federico, I don't know if you agree with that, but everybody thinks differently and that's normal. Sure. And but nobody but can Ricardo, come to you. Ricardo, sorry if I interrupt you, but this sure. is the point, you know, this is the point in my opinion. And this is the point why, you know, I'm a little bit punk in, in this area. You know? I'm in the customer experience world now since 20 years, more or less. And in my opinion, there is not, you know, one solution fit all or one. Exactly one framework fit all and this not uh, um, is not a religion this is this is is very important you you need to have uh, um, you know the flexibility uh, in your mind uh, to accept that you know 
uh, maybe Ricardo will tell me something that can improve uh, uh, my program. My, my program is not super perfect. And uh, uh, I have always the possibility uh, to improve it. So this is, for instance, when I, when I started uh, you know, to have a look uh, um, at the website of uh, um, the European Customer Experience Organization, this is something that it comes immediately, uh, you know, to my to my attention that uh, basically you guys you don't uh, force people to, you know, believe uh, uh, in a certain way. This is what was the first first thing. The second thing um, I really I really uh, like it was the possibility really to uh, become uh, part of the community for free. And this, I think, is, is another uh, extremely important aspect if I compare you to uh, you know, other organizations, other associations around customer experience. So first, uh, uh, you, do, you don't force people to think in one single direction. Second, you are really an, an open organization. So um, it costs nothing uh, to uh, become part of your organization. And I think this is, this is extremely important. It goes exactly you know, in the direction of a good customer experience in my yeah, opinion. But, but I have to tell you, there is a cost on that. I will tell you the I, cost. I, I'm now. sure, I'm sure. The cost <laughs> is that we want people to participate and we want people to come and bring their ideas Okay, and you want to create the best educational program to customer experience in the world. Okay, starting in Europe first. We have many different differentiations from other parts of the world. For example, product experience, product design, how to design experience. You know, the different parts of the world to have different approach. Strategy is different in, in some parts of the world. But one thing that you said, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna relate to the. It's free, but we expect you to come on board and not just engage in the conversation, but also to open a conversation topics that's really bothering. Yes, you. Yeah. The other day, somebody mentioned something about the CX ROI. So was a discussion there. I mean, every, everybody have different opinions. The intention with that is to create, based also in the data that you are collecting, a great program that will educate Europe. However, it's not only to have a program online that we are going to have. Also, we want to have um, offline when this might more is over, as COVID is over for all of us Europeans and hopefully everywhere in the world. And the third thing that we, we are thinking about is to go to, actually here is a run because it's really difficult to get close to the professors in the university. And I wanna get close to them because if you don't start a work of uh, background work right now, for improved customer experience also in the university, the studies to make people understand early on what this means for you as a customer and for the companies, we will actually never change Europe for something more customer oriented as we are not customer oriented, especially in DAH, we are all uh, product oriented because we our history is about products and, and that's great, but uh, you have to make a, a have to put a flexibility word in, all people mind as well as yes. the, the, the real payer is the customer. So this yeah. is the approach we have. And so far, you know, we, we are almost in 300 people right now in, oh. after two weeks that you open, uh, you open that uh, for free. That's really good. We need help obviously bringing more people that are interested to learn Share and for that and reason, you are here, Ricardo. Yeah. <laughs> we want <laughs> you to drive, uh, you know, new uh, members to your uh, well, thank you very much. And I, I, I underline once again is 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 free. So, uh, guys that uh, are following this uh, video blog, don't worry because uh, you can really um, su subscribe uh, uh, or become members of the association for free. And personally, I found it really um, good that we. You want guys to build a community, a community where uh, I, is is really open. So you you can have your own opinion, you can share your own opinion, and you can do uh, you know very good uh, discussion uh, about your opinion. I wanted to ask you something, Ricardo. Ask me even two things. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, because uh, because uh, basically I've seen uh, um, that you have 
uh, an education and uh, educational programs, but it's quite different uh, from uh, the one offered uh, by other uh, other customer experience association in the world. So you have basically two levels of uh, um, great the, point yeah, or certification. And also I've seen that, uh, you know, you anyway is not something that you learn something and you do simply do an exam, but it goes through different months uh, of education preparation. So I, I think it's quite serious approach. Also, yeah. also because, and correct me if I'm wrong, for instance, and, and now I, I don't want to put myself uh, you know, in the front of the list of the people, but I'm working in customer experience since, since 20, 20 years. Um, if I come, uh, you know, to um, to request uh, uh, or to do a, a certification, uh, I, I would like, on a certain extent, that this background is recognized. It's not that I simply go to, you know, exactly. some, some, uh, answering a quiz, uh, and then exactly. you know, my son that uh, started uh, one month ago has exactly the same level as me. So explain me a little bit that uh, that certification. All right. So. We, we don't have yet our own certification, right? So we, we were searching in the beginning for the best certification that we believe that is great for the majority of people. However, this can differ because what we, we know what we didn't want it. And I can tell you that what I, I didn't want is to have something that would be like, uh, this is the book, learn that and you pass the test. What's the benefit for your life of that? So there are many certifications out there Millions, no, no, no standards, nothing. I just decided tomorrow that I have, I want to give a, a certification. And if you like me, you come and do that. That's not the way to do it. So we was looking first for the right partner. That's the first phase. We found the right partner. I check it, the material, other people check it, the material, CX Academy. We negotiated with them a great price for our people that are coming inside, all right? is much better, they actually, they, they, they own price. And they was really, uh, I'm not sure that I have to do that. That's maybe you cannibalize my, I said, no, this is a great brand. We can stand for you and they will stand for us. And the last thing, this is not going to take us of developing our own or maybe with them in the future, other things. But I checking the material, the way the approach that the, the CX Academy developed that I really love it the way because this is customer experience. This is not uh, to everybody knows culture, strategy, but mm. there are many difficulties in the way and many hurdles in the way, which is the verticals. How you get this to the people? How are you going to embed what you are telling me? You can be the CEO just because you are the CEO doesn't mean that I'm going to do that. How I can become sure your your arm? Do you understand from your company yeah, yeah. that you, you go to the client and you. So there are many different things that they added in this course. So we have two different levels. The diploma that is a long course, three months, something like that, cost a bit more, but it's very good. And you have the certification that is faster. Yeah. That is, I think is, is very good quality there. Therefore, we choose them. And, and that's the history about that yet. Uh, we are now working to develop our own planes. Okay, cool. Uh, a very interesting approach. I think, uh, I think uh, uh, you know, in this, uh, let's say, uh, short talk we had together we underline a lot of uh, you know unix let, let's put it in a marketing <laughs> way a unique selling proposition of uh, you know the european customer experience organization so guys is basically membership uh, is free you are immediately part uh, of a big uh, community of uh, customer experience uh, experts uh, in europe um, i was subscribing of course and uh, i immediately seen the possibility uh, to interact uh, interact with the people um, last but not least uh, they are developing uh, um, a very interesting uh, um, education program approach that is uh, is different uh, is different from the other other organizations so um, i yes tell me ricardo just one thing when you come on board, we expect you to come and give ideas for us to create. If you want to participate, we have now four. We have the, the marketing and engagement. We have the engagement of the people inside the platform. We have the program of education. 
we need help for that. We need articles from you, yeah, people that are coming on board. We need articles for our blog. We need many things. Everybody that wants to participate or want to learn or want to just stay there and, and learn a bit more is welcome for us. We are we don't define ourselves as inclusive as diverse because for us is this is a given we are we are like that i am totally different than you and everybody's different there yeah. and we don't care about those things don't care about religion don't care about nothing we are like that we are open we are europeans that's so can we can we say we are punk in the european customer <laughs> you can say, you can say yeah. <laughs> okay okay no but but this is the spirit in my opinion we have to respect the, the ideas of the others, this respect, let's say, let's put it in this way. We respect uh, uh, the ideas of the other. You know, just, just a small story, Michael, um, uh, Michael Brandt will, uh, will laugh about this story because I remember I had, uh, I had um, let's say, a discussion with Michael on LinkedIn and, uh, and we had two totally different uh, point of view on, on one topic. And then a certain point I wrote to Michael uh, in, in the link, link, Michael, by the way, for the people that are listening uh, for the blog is a uh, uh, customer experience e expert in B2B and is also part of the European customer experience uh, organization. I wrote to him, um, I don't agree with you, but I will give my life in order you can say that. <laughs> you know? so, yeah, this, is, this is my approach, you know. And yeah, but that's a, a good very, approach. Very illuministic approach, but uh, I think that, that, that is important, you know. Everybody has the right to express his own opinion, uh, uh, but on the other hand, uh, you have to be open uh, to listen uh, to the other opinions. That That is extremely, extremely important. So, Ricardo, Thank you very much for spending time with us uh, uh, today. It, it, it was really a very interesting discussion. Um, I remember the people, Euro, European Customer Experience Organization, in, in the comments be, below this uh, video, you will find the link uh, to access the website uh, and uh, uh, to su subscribe and become member for free. I remember for free members of a community of people that respect each other and they, they want to promote customer experience and they want to exchange uh, customer experience with the rest of the world. So thanks. Thanks a lot, uh, Ricardo. Federico, thank you very much for the exposure and for the time. Really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. And, and people, uh, I wait for you for the next episode of the CX Punk Chat.